Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's video. So we're out in the woods after about four days of rain. I'm loaded up with my basket, my knife, the sniffer dog, and we're gonna head out looking for some edible fungi. <laughs> There's a few up, but I can't see any edibles at the moment. The dog's not scenting any uh, any of the edibles that she knows what to look for. But um, we'll carry on further down there, see whether we can see anything. I'm I'm confident there's going to be some today, but uh, again, I don't think there is. But there are signs that they are up. But uh, we'll carry on further down and have a look. No, there's absolutely nothing around here. I'm not going to waste my time any longer. I'm going to get further down where it's really wet. The last time I was down here, what was that, three weeks ago, I think it was, I did see a few signs down there. Um, but there's absolutely nothing here. I'm not going to waste my time uh, having a look on the way down. I'm just going to get further down there by the pine and by the marsh. And then, touch wood, we'll find some. absolutely nothing so yeah a bit peeved about that really but like said, that's how it goes um, you know what, what else can I say you know I thought after four days of heavy rain and it was heavy that uh, we were going to have a good haul today but but no anyway it's now starting to rain again I think we're going to get into the trees over there we'll stick a tarp up we'll get a brew on we'll have something to eat and we'll just sit down amongst the trees for a bit Well, a bit of a wasted day out, but never mind. Well, not really wasted, it's nice just to get out. Yeah, can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. I thought we would have a huge haul today. Right, I think we'll set a tarp up here, I think. Uh, get a brew on and have something to eat. So what I've got, I've got my um, DD Superlight tarp here. I've got a continuous ridge line inside of this. So what I'll do is I'm just going to string this between the two pine trees here and uh, just set up a little shelter. Uh, it has stopped again now, but um, I think it's going to rain again in a bit. So uh, we'll get this up and then uh, we'll get a brew on.
we go. So just a little tarp thrown up. Just going to clear up underneath there. Get something to eat, I think. Right then, so we're going to have some uh, real tomat chicken soup for lunch today. And we're going to... Come on you, out the way. Just use the Eagle Kettle. You should probably see this in plenty of my videos. It's an absolutely fantastic thing. What I love about this kettle is there's so much surface area on the bottom there uh, that it heats really, really well. And um, I'm just going to be using just this small little uh, Metza burner. I think I found that on, on eBay, I think it is. But I can fill this up and with this kettle, I can pretty much get, get a full brew out of it. So that's what we're going to use today. So the meth burner came with this little stand, little tiny, tiny pot stand, just a wire stand here. Um, it is a little bit flimsy, it's a little bit too flimsy for that kettle, but it, it just about works there. You just need a, a flat surface for it. And that's that, really. To so, say that burner can pretty much do a whole kettle full of water. It's ready. Excuse me. Mm. Very nice. What I love about these soups is that they're so filling, but yet they're the sort of thing that you can get out. They're the sort of thing that you can eat on a on a pretty arduous day where you just want to have a quick lunch stop and just carry on. So you haven't got to spend the time, you know, like trying to digest you know some of the heavy meals so these work really really well if you just want a quick stop and plus something like this where you just just want something small and light I don't need a heavy meal mm. that was good I'm guessing you want it don't you huh I'll take it then Right, I'm just walking back to the car and I've just spotted one down here. This is the only edible I've found today. Let's take a look. I have no idea how I spotted this. Here. Ugh. Oh no, it's not a Belitis edulis. It is a slippery jack. There we go. So, Molly, come out. It's called a slippery jack because the top all slippery. There's a few maggots in that one, but we'll stick it in the basket and we'll have a little look around see if there's any more. Apologies for the fail, I wasn't planning for that, but anyway, thanks for watching this week's video. Let's hope that we can get out next week and actually get a haul of fungi, then I'll hopefully be able to show you how I uh, dehydrate those. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button just below and there's a couple of videos there for you to take a look at and then hopefully we'll see you out in the forest next week on the next one.